Technology can do that for you. It can transform who you are and give you access to the created world like never before. So let's use it. Use technology to explore and unpack creation. You know, Albert talks about his own limitations, and the psalmists talk about their limitations as well. As they look at the world around them, they begin to ask questions about who they are. Psalm 8, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them? Why? When I look at the vista of your created world, what makes us so special? Now the psalmist answered that. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, God. I know that full well. The wonder of creation helps us to wonder about the Creator. So don't accept limitations. Don't let brokenness within your life stop you from seeing what God is doing around you. Instead, engage with creation. Here's some ways that you can engage with creation. Do what Albert Lynn said right in the beginning of this message. Be patient. Creation moves at its own pace. Watch, look, pay attention, but be patient. Let creation speak to you about the wonder of God as you look at it. Slow your breathing. Take a walk. If I could say it this way, this summer, change your pace. Explore the created world around you. Psalm 8 verse 4 talks about uh, what, what it, uh, is mankind that you care for him uh, or them. It's about putting ourselves in the right perspective. So as you engage creation, choose humility. We're not the be-all and end-all. Not everything revolves around us. There's a phenomenal world in which we live. There's even a vaster universe within which we exist. Let's put ourselves in the right perspective. Let's be humble as we approach God's creation. As we do that, engage your senses. Stop, look with your eyes, feel with your body, taste. Maybe not the bugs, <laughs> but taste. Listen. Engage all those senses and as you begin to encounter the world around you, as you begin to encounter creation, and you can start in your own backyard looking at a blade of grass. I saw a phenomenal picture, I can't show it to you because I don't have the rights to it, but phenomenal picture of a blade of grass under a microscope and the way the chlorophyll is worked around it, it looks like a smiling emoji. <laughs> it's just so amazing. So engage the senses, slow down. Begin to ask questions. Ask questions of God. Ask questions of the created world. Begin to ask God, why did you make grass that way? God, why are there so many different colors? Why is there this constant battle in my backyard between the hydrangeas on one side that bloom just a few days after the plants on this side die? And God, I'd like them to bloom together. Could you orchestrate that at some point? And every year it's like, no. Lord, as I look at the powerful trees, but explore the most uh, amazing, smallest cell. Why would you create that for us? And why would you say we're in charge of it, to, hold, hold, to take care of it, to own it? As you do that, allow for learning. Allow yourself to learn. I, I don't buy this, the fight between faith and science. I don't buy it. It doesn't need to be that way. Faith is not the rejection of science. And science is not the enemy of faith. Instead, they work hand in hand together. Faith tells us who created the world, not how. Science tells us how. Two different questions approaching the same thing. So let's engage together and learn together. And if I can say one thing to you, take care of this world we're in. Take care of the created world. We're beginning to discover as our lenses get better and technology gets better, we're beginning to discover planets that look just like ours in other systems. But this is the only one we have right now. The closest planet that looks like Earth, 100 million light years away. 100 million years of travel. 
we're just a few thousand years on this planet. <laughs> so just consider that as you take care of this world we're in. And as you take care of it, I'd encourage you to embrace wonder. Our world is amazing. So look for the person behind the thing. Look for the creator behind the creation. Engage the world around you and begin to slow down and participate in looking at the wonder of creation.